I am definitely using this for therapy. This is me getting stuff out of my head and the fact that people can relate to it make me feel better about myself. Really? <laughs> I'm not as insane as I think I am. A lot of people, you know, miss the James Hetfield, the classic from the 80s, you know, the guy who was just the living up to the rock and roll dreams they wanted to fulfill, you know drinking and shagging his way around the world. Do you miss that guy? Yeah, I romanticize it at times. I don't remember all the horrible crap. You know, you think all the great shit. But, but yeah, you know, it seemed a lot more simple life back then. I could just put on the Metalla brow and just everything goes away, you know? People don't want to approach me, that's awesome. The drinking was just, you know, it was an accepted escape. You know, and it became more of the, you know, the, the drinking, the drug and the womanizing, the, all of that stuff was, it's eventually just took over, just like any addiction. Someone who's creative, I think, has this passion for the aha or the hit, you know? Oh, dude. Why are all these people here? What, what have I done? You can't really like this song. I mean, I'm looking at you in the front row and you're, you know, you're a 60 year old dude and you got, you know, whatever, your grandkid is here. You, you can't really like this song that I'm screaming in your face. And they're smiling, they're loving it. It's like, wow, is this, is this one big punk? Episode, you know. <laughs> you always seem to be kind of drawn towards the darkness. I mean, why? Why do you think? Where do you think that comes from? Well, I think a uh, combination of things. Maybe in my past life there was some some serious darkness. No, I don't know. I think a lot of a lot of it stems from just my childhood. Some of the traumatic things that happened to me. Maybe my trial childhood. Uh, some alienating factors, you know. What's been your worst fashion cry? I'm, I dress like that. I mean, it's friggin' summertime. You got shorts on, you got flip-flops. And yes, I got caught holding my wife's bag, so whatever. Oh, it was, your, funny. It, it was your wife, sir? Yeah, sure. sure. Metal! What's your worst hair crime? <laughs> Myself personally, it was the the ultra mullet, which I called it. The, <laughs> you can laugh, dude. It's okay. The ultra mullet was totally shaved sides and you know, uh, shortish on top and then super long in the back. You know, it was more like the the Billy Ray Cyrus most shaved sides. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. We gotta do what we feel honest about, even if it looks ridiculous ten years later. It's where we're at, man. We're documenting our life in Metallica. I've read some rumors on the internet about why your right hand's as fast as it is. <laughs> I mean, is it, can you can you give me any? Is, is it true? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, someone's got to do it right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I you know I wouldn't attribute it to that, but I'm sure it didn't hurt. <laughs> Sometimes it hurt, but. <laughs> But as far as playing fast, it most most of it came from a challenge, like between like Kirk and I or Lars, you know, it's like, what do you mean you can't play that fast, you know? You pussy. It was it was competition, man, that took us further and further up, you know. 